Hello everybody, I loved the video I recorded today with the phone and it's a new phone and uh, I wanted to go in on that report from uh, New Year Eve so I made this um, little charms or how you call it I actually stamped on a piece of paper like in a hard paper I stamped with the little tiny stamps and then I used glossy accents to make it glossy, of course. And originally I planned to do it um, as a picture. Uh, but then um, I decided not to put picture in it. Because it would be too, like, um, depends on what picture or who knows who wants that picture or not. So I decided to use that little stamp. It's really gorgeous, little tiny uh, does it say uh, waffle flower stamps amazing amazing set really tiny so I was looking for something that would fit inside of that um, uh, lid from pear bottles or whatever bottles it's crafty lids I didn't use any bottles I bought a whole bunch of crafty lids I ran it through my tea holes um, vagabond machine and it turns out that flat and gorgeous I loved it and I made a little hole in it so where's my tool yeah like that is that tool and I can do I can run um, the chain through it or put a little um, ring jump ring and here will be some nice uh, amulet or uh, charm or whatever whatever I really really loved it so I did this in a new year eve that's um where is my uh where's my glue okay here here I brought this thing from America glossy accents it seems like it's here and there a little bit of stuff but uh in a like if, in a collective way a cumulative way if you put everything I brought together there will be impossible two suitcases, which is no way to get it back. Unbelievable. So, but that not much I could do with that. It's nothing like I have in America. But anyways, I worked on that. It's uh, close to my heart. And it's kind of rusty vintage look I was going for. It's Fan and Bear, Fair Bear, whatever it's her name. F Funny Bear from... from I don't know, the girl who does medals, who does uh, Fina Bear, Fina Bear, I think, Anna Dabroska. So that's her paste on it. And I covered it with the acrylic paint. And I stamped three little hearts in it. And I put close to my heart and a guitar. It's my boyfriend, Sammy, is playing a guitar. And it's really, really good. So that's a guitar. And that one says Glad. And it's a little mic. So I was um, going for that look, just maybe to cheer me up someday. And also it's some kind of talisman. Keeps my good energy, collects a good energy. If you take it to your hand, you could feel it. So I charge them with a really positive and nice attitude. Sending you love. I thought that uh, this musical instrument does look like love. Where's my camera? I still get used to that phone. Jesus. Okay, here is my um, that little musical instrument in a, from an ancient Greece. I'm not sure what's the name of it. An arch or some kind of thing. Arf. I don't know what's the name of it. But I stamped tiny hearts around it and I said, Sending you love. I think that does look like you, doesn't it? Just like a letter U. So, and the last one uh, says time in it and a clock. You'll know I'm obsessed with making clocks and being aware about times, about time and all of it. it has little holes in it. What I made with my favorite ever tool. Can make a bigger, like a smaller hole and a bigger hole, and I'm gonna run the jump ring through it. So my other project was um, this cigar box. I so loved it, you guys. I so loved it, and I made it with just uh, uh, wallpaper. 
Can you believe that it's a wallpaper? It's actually like a little scene with the cafe and it says coffee in it and it's all wallpaper like, like so. I got a free samples free samples out of the like a, a Russian version of Home Depot. So and I did uh, glue it on a box. Um, there's all kinds of paper. It's it's like a thick paper, and it's more good for um, like a album cover or something. It's it's really thick. I don't know if I should unfold it because I will not be able to put it back. Okay, here it is. Here it is. I was lucky. So that's a wallpaper, and it says happiness begins with a cup of coffee, coffee, and I put it in my uh, on my cigar box inside and outside so you can still craft even on a go even in russia even with the limited craft supplies so wonderful wonderful story coffee as long as you have the mojo going and as long as you're creative you can do it you can do anything anywhere so i broke it i broke the picture in a little two parts bigger one a smaller one and i broke this uh, muffin in two parts or whatever it is a croissant or whatever you call it and i added some little tiny piece of father wallpaper and i all covered it with some kind of uh, polisher i think it was that one let me see varnish 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 for gouache yeah i don't have another one i don't have a hair spray in here so it's just that and I also covered it with acrylic paint and I did this um, texture paste all around it and this one is uh, from spare parts from America I love the closure it's kind of cool and I brought this here I brought the whole set of my um, templates it's um what's the name of the company the crafters workshop exactly so i brought them um, like a whole collection like i said and i did pick one don't know where it is right now but it's there since i was able to make that um sides beautifully so the cigar box right that's pretty heavy that's really nice though. I put in there a whole bunch of tea bags and I use it as a like a tea um how to say uh, like tea um storage I would think. So it's perfectly fine for the tea uh it fits in it. So it fits like this, like so, and um, that's really nice aesthetic look in it. I really loved it. So just so uh, it's functioning and uh, originally somebody was going to throw it away, but you know, for one person is a, uh, um, uh, what's trash for one person how you guys say it what's trash for one person for another person is a treasure and uh my mom i mean my mom-in-law which is basically my sister i wouldn't say that it's my mom because we're pretty much the same age <laughs> she was giving birth to my boyfriend in a very young age i wrote um, and she is an amazing artist she got me she introduced me to any kinds of craft so I really appreciate you. So she was into cigar boxes. She was making amazing cigar boxes. She was doing all kinds of uh, topics in it. Like let's say she would create twilight cigar boxes and sell them for twilights. Uh, fans like we would go to the movie theater for twilight like one two three four five four or whatever and there would be a whole bunch of fans and she would offer it and they would get her cigar box uh, amazing woman i always you know in front of her so uh the thing is that um okay um uh, the the other project they did was this um jelly plate jello plate 
what's what's its name jello gel printing plate it's pretty much first time I used it in my um in my um uh New Year Eve. I never used it before and it's pretty heavy too. Oh it smells fantastic. I don't know why it turns out green after I used it. So I got this I got my set of gouache um paint. I'm not gonna show you the gouache paint, you all know how it looks. And I did um kind of like put put like randomly uh, random colors on it and then I would get one of my um, crafters workshop template right and I would place it right on it and then you get a brayer uh, you know what the brayer is uh, I don't have it right now to show you well maybe maybe I do so and you just kind of like get this put it in really good and then take it out and print fantastic but it does work print and you take it out and you have that kind of print i'm going to make a junk journal even though i don't know what's what it is that for but um i guess people use it as a smash book but nobody calls it anymore a smash book i don't know why so i did this couple of things a couple of papers um this the texture it's pretty steady paper and um i think i'm gonna use the copy paper next time i brought this spray uh, i mean i found this spray in here that was from my previous life in moscow before i moved to america but you know i wouldn't bring from america such tool especially they sell it here too but everything costs humongous now here and uh, this one is another texture. I have no idea how to use that junk journal book. Probably like a smash book for photographs or tickets or whatever memorable events you have. Anyways, I'm collecting that stuff. Let me show you what I have. And of course I have my wallpaper. Gorgeous, gorgeous wallpaper. All kinds. I'll show you. And then I have this uh, kind of vintage paper. That's paper from 20 years old and it's all naturally vintage now. It's all it's all kind of very very naturally old. Yeah, and it's uh, weird that I was able even to get there, but it's almost fallen apart, so and another paper is a craft paper from something. That's another craft paper. So I'm gonna try at least to do junk, my version of a junk journal. Because you know, people do it with all kinds of material and uh, with everybody, it turns out gorgeous. Everybody's so creative. I just love crafty people in America. It's fantastic. So for that uh, jello, jello plate, you can use textures. Like let's say you want this shape and you kind of play, uh, put like this. And then you put play, paper on it and then you do the brayer. Take the paper out and you're going to have this um, shapes on it. Or that shape. I actually tried it. Or any kind of template shape. Oh, this, or oh, whatever I brought from America. Just, I'm so lucky to have it. It's actually, you can even stick it. Yeah, it's on a glue. Okay, anyways, enough for rambling for right now. Um, thanks so much for watching me again today. And I really appreciate you guys. Uh, have a great, wonderful morning and day. And... Um, that was high from snowy Russia. Bye.